A hello and welcome and if the weather forecasters are to be believed we're in for a very rainy night here at the Etihad Stadium in Manchester I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson and with the atmosphere really building up nicely we should be in for a terrific contest it is Manchester City and they face the New York Red Bulls thanks Derek well both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Nathan Ake plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Riyad Mahrez plays with Jack Grealish in the wide positions. And the lone striker today is Erling Haaland. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And the match begins. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Useful looking position, you've got to say. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Well, it's always a great thrill to watch Erling Haaland in action. He can be absolutely unstoppable, and we should expect that he'll have a prominent role to play in this one, Stuart. Well, he's their leading goal scorer, mainly because of his movement, which is so clever. It's full of pace, and it always threatens the back of defenders. And, of course... Oh, sorry, Stuart, look at this! And the keeper more than equal to it. So the corner played into the box. A disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. Manchester City have it back now. And De Bruyne in a useful looking position, but will there be an end product? Need to get tighter. Poor pass. Mares. Mares. And he knows he must thump it away. Mares. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Gundogan takes the shot and still an opportunity in it goes at the second time of asking and the keeper feels hung out to dry well as you can see the first save is a good one they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. One nil then. Of room in the wide area. Let's 
could be the equaliser. But oh, what an important save. How about that? Well, at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there. They should be level now. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And the keeper takes the ball, but the main thing is he held on to it. Given away by City. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Well, the visitors, as you can see, have enjoyed so much of the possession, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. Well, flinging himself at it. Now the delivery, no trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. Half time, that will do it for the first half here at the Etihad. Well, I suppose you could say par for the course from Jack Grealish in the first half. Just what we expected really, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave him the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And this confrontation is underway. So back in business here, City with the lead, but they won't be taking anything for granted. Luquinhas. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Omir Fernandez. Oh, couldn't bend his run, and the flag went up. Holland. Chances on. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. And he's fired over the corner. And that is a defender doing his job, clearing it off the line. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. Applying vigorous pressure. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. minutes left for play well visionary passing and he might be in here and a goal to increase their advantage to two overall that little bit of a cushion now it's all about keeping the concentration
Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, but really the goalkeeper should never be exposed that easily. Great team goal, but woeful defending. And back underway. Plenty of support here. Foden. Well, the supporters think it's on. And top notch as well as brave goalkeeping. Well, he comes off his line at just the right time. He read that brilliantly. Luquinhas. Dan de Vanzer. And he's broken free. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. And over it comes. And clearing is away. Determined defending. Well, there you can see City haven't been able to control possession, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Oh, Stuart, they could be in here. And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. underway again so comfortable for City it's turning into a trouncing this looks more than decent and the keeper more than equal to it well it comes down to the final five minutes and he's through here a goal Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, but should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. If there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. This is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, it's so one side. And there's the final whistle. It goes into the books as a City victory. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, he's been a long way from his best up front, Stuart. Well, I would say he was average today, but he can't be at his best every week. He just did a good job for the team.